Hey, it's Brandon, and here's five tips to clean your oven like a pro. So tip number one is to be prepared. Remove the racks and place them in a storage tub like this or even your bathtub and fill it up with warm water. Now that we got the racks in some hot water in the tub here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some Cascade Platinum Pods. Really any dishwasher pod will work. I just like these, they do a good job. Now what I'll do is grab one, throw it in one of the corners, throw it over here, let those dissolve, do their job. We're gonna let these sit while we clean the oven and totally forget about it. You'll also want to remove any large debris or burnt food from the oven before we spray the cleaner down so you can pick those up or you can also just quickly vacuum that area. Last but not least, you'll need a few cleaning tools. For scrubbing, I like to use a scrub mommy and a steel scour daddy, a razor blade scraper, and some microfiber towels. Now tip number two is choose the right cleaner. Now it seems like tip number two is always choose the right cleaner, but there's a wide variety of oven cleaners on the market. Some are very aggressive, others are a little more eco-friendly. Let me show you two that I like to use on a regular basis. So option number one is Zepp's Oven and Grill Cleaner. Now this does exactly what it says. It's very powerful and can be a bit aggressive for some households. Option number two is a more DIY approach, which is vinegar, baking soda, and Dawn. Wait a second, I was told baking soda and vinegar neutralize when they're mixed together. Is that right? Yes, you're exactly right. When you mix the two together, they neutralize, pretty much becoming salt and water, and that's not very good for cleaning. Instead, I like to mix the baking soda with water and use it as an abrasive paste to cut through the grease. Once you've broken the surface tension of that grease and are done with the baking soda, I like to use the vinegar, water, and a little bit of Dawn mix to degrease the oven. Now that you got the right cleaner, let's move on to the next tip. Tip number three is dwell time. And pretty much what that means is the longer you let the cleaner sit, the better it's going to work. So be patient and trust the process. While you wait for the cleaner to work, why not hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another cleaning video. Two hours later. Tip number four, Let's get scrubbing. So now that we let the cleaner sit, you can tell right here, come in real close. Check this out. It is nice and ready to get cleaned here. We're gonna wanna grab a scrub mommy. What I like about these, it's non-scratch. So it's gonna be aggressive enough to break down the remaining clinging grease on the surface here, but it's not gonna scratch the glass or anything in the oven. So for this step, you're really going to be scrubbing, wiping, and scraping. The goal is to extract and remove all of the grease from the oven surface. Now, I'll be honest, this is going to take the most amount of time and you'll definitely need some determination. Depending on how dirty your oven is, you may need to repeat the process of spraying the cleaner on, scrubbing, wiping, and scraping. But stick with it, you got this. Are you tired of back aches while cleaning your oven and reaching over your oven door to get all those little nooks and crannies? Did you know that you can remove your oven door for easy access and easier cleaning? So you simply remove the two latches on the side over here, pull the door up like this, and it will pop right off. <laughs> Tip number five is to thoroughly rinse and wipe down the entire oven with just a damp microfiber cloth. These, if you need some, are available at letscleanthatup.com. Wipe it down top to bottom, that way you get rid of all the remaining residue and any grease and grime that might be left over. One quick thing I wanted to note is if you see here, this is damage done to the oven. It's an older oven, it's pretty common. Unfortunately, you can't wash away wear and tear, and that's what this is here, but we got it looking much better. Now that the inside of the oven is clean, let's go back and finish the racks. 
The dishwasher pods have been busy at work. So all we need to do is go back with our scour daddy, scrub, rinse, and dry. Now they're ready to go back in the oven. So we're gonna get a live react from my sister about her new clean oven. What do you think? Oh my goodness, that is unbelievable. 